Hi E7, this is just a quick video to show you how to create the linked journal headers for your writing journal that we're going to be working on in class. So you'll be directed to your writing journal, which will look like this. Um, and when you get a prompt, you will come to your the correct journal entry and you will write in here. I've done the first two journal headers for you, which will link up here to our table of contents. But when it comes time to do the third journal entry, I've left it so that you can do your own, so that you can see how to um, use this function in Google Docs. So when it comes time to do number three, you will just go down a few lines and you'll write in journal entry number three. You can go ahead and write your journal if you like. But then what you do is you highlight the heading, journal entry number three. You go up here to the toolbar across the top. And there's a part that says normal text. You can see it says styles. If you click on that, it brings up a whole lot of options. If you click heading number one, it turns that into a heading. It looks bigger. Now, you might wonder, why do I need to do that? Why can't I just change the font size? Well, by doing that, it tells the document that this is a heading. It's not just bigger writing. So when you go up here to your table of contents, if you click on it, and you click the refresh button, the new header will come up there. Now why you might want to do that is you can click on that and copy the link URL like that and then you can use that to submit your work onto the correct prompt on Google Classroom. Okay, nice and easy. I hope that makes sense. You can do that as many times as you'll need to do throughout the course of the term. And um, let me know if you have any other questions.